Hi, I'm Ravi Shastri. Let's go to my top five go-to cricketers, uh, supported by Castrol Index. Let's discover who the real one is. I mentioned earlier, never write off Australia. I think uh, where they'll be doubly dangerous, apart from their batting, you know, the match winners they have, it'll be their pace attack. They've got Lee and they've got Tate, but it's Lee who will catch the eye because he's got the experience. He's been around for a long time. You know, I just get the feeling, having watched him in uh, recent times, is that the hunger is back. You know, he's not playing Test cricket anymore. He's not played too much of uh, 2020 cricket either, and he looks uh, fresh and ready for this World Cup. Well, they call them chokers, and rightly so. They've never won a World Cup. They've threatened to do that on many an occasion. When you look at that team on paper, they should have won two World Cups by now. This is South Africa. And uh, if South Africa and Graham Smith's team has to go the distance, uh, a man who's playing uh, cricket, probably the best he ever has in his career, Jack Callis, because he's batting magnificently, his bowling is always there, and uh, with his experience at number three, and then his experience uh, and ability to reverse swing, I think he's a very key man for South Africa. And if South Africa have to lift this cup for the first time, this could well be a swan song for Jack Callis as well. India will start as favourites and uh, rightly so, they've played tremendous cricket in the last 12 months. They're playing in home conditions, they've got a team that can go the distance. And one man who will be under immense pressure and someone who MS Dhoni will go to whenever the chips are down, that's Harbhajan Singh. He had a tremendous trip of South Africa, I thought he bowled as well as he's ever bowled in his entire career. Because uh, he tossed the ball up, the loop was back there and uh, the thing with Harbhajan Singh is he has this ability to get under the skin of the op opposition and uh, that's why he's a key player, a man with a tremendous temperament, a man who can bowl at any stage of the innings. Another man who has to be a go-to cricketer and uh, don't forget, do not write off Australia ever and to hell with what happened in the Ashes, to hell with what's happened in uh, Australia in the last three months, there will be a team to be counted on. They're looking for their fourth World Cup and one man they'll go to is Shane Watson because he's been in terrific form. I think he's uh, at the peak of his uh, powers. He's uh, taken uh, to opening batting like fish to water and uh, when the chips are down and the ball is reversing as it will do in India, Ricky Ponting will throw the ball to him because he get, has that ability to get reverse and take wickets at crucial stages. A certain go-to cricket. One man you've got to look out for is Shakib Al Hassan and he could well give India headaches in that opening game of the World Cup. India well know what he's capable of, India well know what Bangladesh is capable of in home conditions and that's going to be a tough start. If this man is on fire, he's already one of the top five uh, all-rounders for me in world cricket and uh, he's an outstanding performer especially in the one day game. He, uh, his bowling is very effective and uh, batting at number 5 or 6, he can take an attack apart. And uh, he has this ability to lead from the front, play well under pressure. So watch out for him. So what do you think of uh, my go-to 5 cricketers? Uh, feel free to write Ravi Shastri at castrolcricket.com.